Hello comic book guys and gals, and welcome to Comic Mag Musings. I am your host, Bill Miller. All right, we've got some exciting $7 Vampirella Warren Magazine pickups for you today. What I think is a good value, not a great value. If I'd gotten them for five bucks or less, I would say that'd be a great value. But a good value because they're all high grade, 7.5 and up, there might be one or two in the nines. So without further ado, let's dig in and take a look. We've got Vampirella number 56. It's from 1976. Cover art by Enrique Torres. Written by Joe Francatelli, Bruce Jones, and others. And as you can see, just in really, really fine condition. So we went back and forth for a while and ended up on $7 a piece. Number 52 from 1976. Cover art again by Enrique Torres. I think this might be the first appearance of Lilith, Vampirella's mother. Not positive, but I think it might be. And we've got a second copy. Interior art by Jose Ortiz, Cesar Alvarez, Cañete. Cesar is his moniker, and others. Again, very, very, very nice condition. We've got number 40. From 1975. Enrique Torres with the cover art, back cover by Ken Kelly. Tight spines, sharp corners. Not much to dislike about them. Number 30, from 1974. Enrique Torres with the cover art, interior art, Richard Corbin, Fernando Fernandez, and others. This one's got might be the bag, let me see. Yeah, that's the bag. We have issue 28 from 1973. Enrique Torres with the cover art. Written by Doug Mensch, Flaxman Lowe, and others. And lastly, we have number 27 from 1973. Cover art by Enrique Torres, interior art, Jeff Jones, Wally Wood, and others. And that will do it for the $7 Vampirella magazines that we have for today. I hope you enjoyed seeing them, and if you did, I would encourage you to subscribe and hit that notification bell. That way you're alerted as soon as I release new videos. 
thumbs up and comments are always appreciated. And remember, we're taking over the world one comic book at a time.